Have you been watching the trial this past week? Um, I've seen clips of it online, yeah. You've been watching, so you have seen parts of this trial? Yeah. If you are wondering what this clip is all about, well, here's the thing. One of Amber Heard's best friends and advisors was banned from attending the Virginia court sessions because of gross misconduct. Amber's close friend, British music journalist Eve Barlow, was dramatically thrown out of the bombshell trial after she annoyed the judge. This happened just four days into the hearing. According to judicial rules, such acts may prove costly for Amber now that she has filed to appeal the initial verdict passed by the seven-bench Virginia jury. I I know you may be wondering, what did Barlow do to anger the judge, and how may it affect the appeal case? Please sit back and let's explore. Sources who had attended the $50 million defamation trial reported that Eve Barlow, the former deputy editor of the music bible Enemy and a New York Magazine contributor, got into hot water with the judge by texting and tweeting from the front row of the courtroom, which is usually reserved for legal counsel. Barlow, who has been seemingly inseparable from Amber in the past year, had allegedly been acting like part of the actor legal team and even attempted to intervene in the trial over deaf-friendly witness Gina Duders. This is another move that angered the judge, and Penny Askrit will likely include it in the report, which will soon be handed over to the presiding judges in the appeal case. According to court insiders, Barlow tried to advocate for the Aquaman actress by asking her legal team to show Judge Penny Askrit that Duders was allegedly compromised as a witness. Sources said Barlow allegedly brought up a social media post from Duders, claiming it was a recent post from the current trial. As it turns out, the post in question was actually shared in 2021 during Depp's prior trial against The Sun newspaper in London. Duders, who is the wife of Depp's longtime employee and collaborator, Stephen Duders, admitted that she had seen clips of the trial online prior to giving testimony. She was dismissed from the courtroom, and her testimony was struck from the record. Depp's lawyers responded by pushing a motion to have Barlow permanently barred from the courtroom, which the judge approved. That same decision will likely be upheld in the Court of Appeal. Amber had her closest journalist friends sit front and center with her legal team at the trial, live tweeting, texting, and posting information, a source said. Eve Barlow seems to think she's part of Amber's legal team. Depp's lawyers finally had enough and had her barred from the courtroom. Judge Penny also objected to Barlow's texting and tweeting, and according to court transcripts saying, she was tweeting live from my courtroom, and I know the deputies took her out because she was texting. That's against the court order. Miss Barlow is not coming back to the courtroom during this trial. Even after being thrown out of the court buildings. Barlow's rage went on, and she even labeled the discourse and scrutiny around her friend Amber as surreal and condemned those who were criticizing the actress as she recounted times of alleged abuse. It is surreal to imagine that in 2022, a woman had to stand in a courtroom in front of two cameras and the world and relive physical trauma, including sexual trauma for profit and entertainment without any protection, exposed to the bigotry, ridicule, and jibes of strangers, Barlow tweeted. It is sick to contemplate that there are children watching on and being taught that it's okay to be a voyeur to this kind of trial by fire. Children who have no understanding of power dynamics in relationships or addiction cycles, never mind abusive partnerships. She went on to say it is heartbreaking that the Me Too movement has all but abandoned one of the most public witch hunts in modern history because the victim is imperfect. If Barlow continues with her trend of picking out the judges, Amber's appeal case will surely take an early fall. And that's it from this video. Until next time, bye!